Hey guys, welcome back to the Dynamics Post. Today we're going to talk about a feature that's still in preview in Dynamics 365. Um, I'm currently looking at uh, version 16 that we're working with now and it's still in preview on that version. Now when I look at the document, it says it's going to come out in January 2021 and it's actually uh, February right now, 2021, and it's still not out in version uh, .16, so I'd expect uh, this to come out fairly soon. Now the feature we're going to take a look at today is, is how we can create uh, transfer orders from the mobile device, right? It's re actually really simple. Once you get it all set up, it's really simple to do. Uh, it, it does require a license plate. Uh, so basically you put all your items that you're going to transfer into a license plate and then you scan that uh, license plate and then in the background a transfer is created and shipped from the warehouse. So. Once you get it all set up, it's it's really, really simple to do. And I will mention, you know, I'm just going to scan one license plate here, but you can actually scan multiple license plates, and I'll point that out when we get over to the mobile device. But I am just going to be scanning one um, one license plate, but, but do know that you can do multiples. All right, so let's hop over to the system here, and we'll take a look at what needs to be turned on. So the first thing that needs to be turned on is this process warehouse app events. And, and basically what happens is in the background when the mobile device is executing this, this transfer work, it'll, you'll get an app event that says create transfer order and complete transfer order um, in the background. And then batch jobs will process those. So you need, you need these turned on to be able to use that. And then the second one we need is to create and process the transfer order from the warehouse app. This is the feature that we're going to go ahead and turn on and, um, and have that one uh, go. That's the actual feature we're going to use. And then if you want to do a completely automated job where you're going to confirm the outbound shipments as well, uh, where basically a user doesn't have to touch this in the system, you'll want to turn on confirm outbound shipments from, um, from batch jobs there. Okay, so those are the things that you want to turn on. So as far as the setup, let's head over to the work templates. And then if we look underneath the transfer issue, I'm going to be using Warehouse 51 today for setting all this up. I'm going to do a transfer between uh, 51 and 61. So I'm going to show you the setups on the on the warehouse side of 51. Um, the 61 side will just be your normal receiving. I'm not actually going to receive it today. But what you want to do is you want to create a work template to auto process license plate. And on this particular one, I just have a pick and a put, uh, put to bay door, and I'm automatically processing that item there. I'm going to hit up, go up into edit query here. And I've just got where the um, temporary work trends is 51 here in the warehouse. And I don't think I've got any really work header. Okay, work header breaks, I'm, I'm breaking it by located license plate ID there. Um, all right, so main thing here is just have a, a work template that you can use that's gonna be automated. It's gonna process automatically so, so you don't have to touch it again. Now the next one here we have is the location directive. So in the TO pick, Location directive. Um, this is just the standard one out of the Contoso environment. The only thing I added was this LP guided um, directive here, so fixed and non fixed. And you want to have it where it's the license plate guided. So, what that's going to do is it's going to look to try and do the pick side for the license plate that you pick, just to boil it down. That's, that's basically what it's going to look to, to try and do first. And you want this one to be up high. Let's see if I've got anything under edit query here. I don't really have anything under edit query on, on that particular one. So it's license plate guided there. So you want your location directive set up to have a license plate guided one there. Now, on the mobile device menu, um, I've got a menu here that I've added to my mobile device menu called Create TO. And it's, it's an indirect, and the activity code is Create Transfer Order from License Plate. Okay? And then you've got a couple of options here. Your reservation, uh, it's no reservation or license plate guided. So I'm, I want the license plate to control the reservation. So I'm going to have it reserved based on the license plate. And then you have different levels of automation. So basically, I'm going to use the highest level, which is going to be basically to release it and ship it um, without, without anybody touching it. So again, all I want somebody to do is scan the license plate, and then I'm ready to ship that, uh, ship that order. But you have different options here as far as how far you want to go. I'm going to choose uh, release and ship confirm. All right. Now, there's a couple of um, batch jobs that you do need to set up. So let me go underneath the warehouse management module here. And basically, the first one to look at is process warehouse app events. So if I go and click on that one here, we can take a look at the criteria we have here. So on this particular one, 
We, I'm not doing any sort of criteria. There's no criteria in this. And this is what this is the job that we're going to run. That's going to process those batch events in the background. So I'll, that'll make more sense when I actually scan it. So that's the, one of the batch jobs we're going to run. Let's go ahead and take a look at another one. We're going to do is going to be um, we've got the release of transfer orders. You've probably seen this before. The automatic release. And so if I go to records to include here, I've got from warehouse 51 and then let me just go in here filters so I can show you the whole, all the filters. So I've, I'm going to release, um, where for warehouse is 51 and the outbound shipment policy is release ship and ship confirm. That's where that on that mobile device menu that's coming from. So it's going to release any uh, transfer that's created for warehouse 51 that has this relationship confirm outbound shipment policy there. Okay, so that's the release to warehouse one that we've got set up. And then the last one we have is the process outbound shipment one. So we come here process outbound shipment, go ahead and look at records to include. We go back into the filter here. And we'll see that uh, we have uh, the references of transfer order shipment. We've got the outbound shipment policies release shipment confirm. And then the load status is, is actually going to be loaded. All right, so we cancel out of that one. Okay, so that's all the setup we need to do. So we've got those three batch jobs. We've got our mobile menu device. What I want to show you now is the inventory on hand for this license plate I have. It's um, it's going to be in location LP10. License plate is LP10. So let's go ahead and take a look at the on hand here for this particular item. So I've got our A0001. Like I said, it's an LP010, and A0002 is an LP010. And I have these both under the same license plate. So these are both in LP10. And I've got a physical inventory of 100 here and 150. All right, so what I'm gonna show you here is the process inside the mobile device first, right? So if this is all automated, this is actually the only piece that any, anybody's actually going to have to do in the, in the system. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna specify the, the two warehouse and we're gonna specify our license plate. And then these batch jobs that we're gonna run afterwards is totally in the background. I'm gonna run them manually, but it's gonna to be totally in the background here. All right, so if we hop over to our mobile device here, and I take a look at the inventory, and then I put my menu and create TO here in the inventory menu. And the first thing it's going to ask me is a warehouse. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it in my warehouses. I'm going to transfer it to 61. And now it's going to ask me to scan the license plate. I'm going to enter this in here, which is LP10. And go ahead and say OK. And that should be done. So now once we have our 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 license plate scan, we can continue to scan other license plates if we need to. I've only got one in this case, but just know you can add additional license plates to it. We can either cancel out of it. We can select a transfer order we want to add it to, or we just we can do a, a complete transfer order. I'm just going to complete the order here, and that's done. So again, I just want to say that that part is the only piece that anybody has to do in the warehouse. So the next part here, the batch job piece, is we're going to take a look at running those individual batch jobs and kind of what they're doing. So let's go back here to our, our Dynamics 365. First thing I want to show you is this warehouse app event. So if I go hop in there, we've got two, two items here that are our mobile device created. Create transfer order and complete transfer order. And it's got 128 here. That's going to end up being the transfer order number is this 128. So to process these into and, and make it actually do create our transfer order, what we're going to do is we're going to run our... Um, our process warehouse app events. So we're going to run this. There's no criteria on this. We're going to hit OK and run it on the first one. And you're going to see this is going to need to run twice because it's the first time we run it, it's going to do the create. And the second time we're going to do it, it's going to do a complete. So we'll let this one run for a second. And then we'll go back and look at our app events. And then we'll, we'll run the next step. OK, so that's completed. So let's go ahead and back into our warehouse app events. And let's see what we've got here. So we look at this one and see the event state on this one is completed. Now, if we look at the complete transfer order, it's queued. So let's go ahead and we'll run it again. Let's go ahead and come up here and where else? App events. And again, these would normally be running in the background, so it's not something you have to run manually. Um, but we'll just go ahead and let, let this set run a second time. All right, that's completed. Now let's go back and look at it. And we should be gone at this point. So our app events are processed and gone. All right. So the next step, what, it is, what we're going to do is pick up is the automatic release of transfer orders. So we're going to click on that. And basically what it's going to do, go ahead and say, okay. And what this is going to do is it's going to process that transfer order, release it. And since we have that template to automatically um, 
process that work, it's basically going to create the work and process it all at one all at one time here. So again, this is just going to be running in the background, and that's going to run. Now I believe I've got uh, this set up to queued. So this is going to be queued up here for a second. So let me. Um, so this is going to be running back. So let me give it just a second to run. I'll we'll pause it here, and we'll wait for this to uh, finish and actually create our order. All right, so we're back. So as you can see here, our, our wave is, is completed. So our waves were submitted in batches, so had to wait on that to run there. All right, so the last step, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and do our, our, our basically process our outbound shipment here. So we're going to go ahead and process our outbound shipment. Our records is include, so the transfer order is, is loaded. Um, the outbound ship, shipment policies that release and ship confirmed, and we have our transfer order shipment as a reference. Go ahead and run that. And then after this runs, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and take a look at the transfer order. We should see it in the system as being uh, shipped there, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look at that. If we go underneath our inventory management, look at outbound orders and then transfer orders. And then if we look at 128 there, there it's shipped from 51 to 61, order 128. Okay, so remember that when you're doing this, the only thing that the user is going to have to do if you set it up this way is to specify the uh, license plate and then the rest of that's going to happen automatically in the background. Now, I will link the Microsoft doc down below in the video description so you can kind of see all the setup that was done and it goes more into detail and walk you through basically this same example. Um, but I thought this was was pretty neat process. It's still, like I said, in preview as of right now. We're in February of uh, 2021. Um, on dot 16 it's still in preview but I'm thinking it's coming out pretty soon but it, I think it could be a really handy feature to use um, and it works pretty slick right you just have a lot have to have a license plate to scan it and create a transfer order okay so if you enjoyed this video please like it give it a thumbs up that just helps you on the distribution of the video and also I put out a video about once a week so if, if you like this content please subscribe go ahead and hit the notification bell that way you get notified when I upload a new video. Again, I do this about once a week on Thursdays is when I upload these, okay? So again, hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.